Hello Possum Streamer here, Alphacraft. Big task today, don't know if I can get it all done, but the goal is to finish the last of the shops, so that's one, two, three, four, and any upstairs areas that don't have anything. Hmm. As I said, we'll see if we can do it. I'm going to start with this one, which is the bookshop. Now, when I put out my initial what shops should I have, what storage places should I have, Jay Hernandez and Pump575 both said bookshop. Great idea. It's taken me ages to get around to it. Sorry, guys. Purple Wolf has been reminding me to do the bookshop too, so thank you for pushing me to do this. Now, this bookshop. It's not a high street bookshop. It's not like... Dimmix or QBD or WH Smiths or whatever. I spent my teenage years in Newcastle in New South Wales and there was a bookshop there that I absolutely loved. It was called uh, Reese's. It's in the wrong place and now I don't have my silk touch axe on me. Or it was called Rice's. It was spelt rice, but everyone I knew said Reese, so that's what I said. And we'll put uh, a door there. Okay. There we are. Now, it was an absolute treasure trove. Stuffed to the gills with books, and I mean stuffed to the gills. You could almost not move for it. Uh, put that there. And more books there. And a cash register. No. And a little area for the proprietor with the cash register in it. There we go. Now, that's not the first floor done. That's nothing like Rice's, Reese's, whatever it was. But we'll do up here first. And you never knew what you were going to find because there were so many books in there, there was no way of knowing what was there. Oh, I used to love it. I got so many good books from there. There, I'll just fill this with bookcases. It'll probably use every bookcase I have. <laughs> Still, what's the point of having them if you're not going to use them? I got some Tintin books in there. I got my 1880s Tennyson in there. It was brilliant. Um... Yeah, we need to put a ceiling on this. There was trash stuff, there was cheap stuff, and there were absolute treasures. You never knew what you'd turn up if you were just willing to put in the huge amount of time necessary to go through everything and see what was there. I've just gone and looked up Rice's, and it is Rice's. My friends and I were wrong all those years. <laughs> It is still in existence. It is no longer in the shop where I knew it. It survived the Newcastle earthquake. That was stupid. But I don't think it's been able to survive the idiocy that was ripping up the train line in Newcastle. Uh, how many more do I need? Four, eight, 12, 14. I need 14 more. That's not a problem. And it has now moved out to Ties Hill which isn't far from where it was. Now let's see if we put... Uh, I want to display in the window, so we put one there. Leave a gap. If this offends you, just close your eyes. Close your eyes, you didn't see anything. There we go. All right, I'm going to sort this bookshop out and we are going to do the other shops.
I've done as much as I can. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, no, let's not have a look. Okay, we've got a job to do first. A couple of weeks back, I had a meeting with the Pigglesworth. He came to my solicitor's offices here, which are upstairs. They're just up there. We may as well have a quick look. He had been given a contract. Here we are. This is where we met. He'd been given a contract by Aletha, which she says he's accepted. He has no recollection of it. So he hired me as his solicitor. No win, no fee. But if I do win, if I settle this to his satisfaction, I get paid in trapdoors. What's not to love about that? If you want to see that meeting, you'll have to go check Piggy's video because mine had visual glitches all the way through it and the footage was unusable. Yay, the wonders of filming. Mm. But I now have a meeting with Aletha and we're going to try and get to the bottom of this. So I'll meet you and her at Spawn. Oh, well, hello, Drama. Just the person I have been looking for. Ah, uh, Aletha, I needed to speak to you. Mm -hmm. I have a client, and he has a contract. Yes. Yeah, that he does. He's not sure where the contract came from. So, can it you from enlighten me, any... me as to how he got Absol it and under what circumstances? Absolutely. So, uh, I was working on my little raid village for the How Did We Get Here achievement. Oh, yeah, yeah. And... We were, we were decorating the towers, and we kind of ran out of diamonds, and so I asked him if he would be willing to um, send me 32 diamond blocks in exchange for, you know, a, a reasonable deal. And I presented him with three options, and he agreed to the third option. And, yeah. The trouble... And so he actually he gave me the diamonds, and they're, they're already installed. The trouble is, Mr. Pigglesworth has no recollection of this. So... I'm not That's meaning very strange. to impugn your character or anything like that, mm -hmm. but because he's now put this into an official capacity, I don't mean to be rude, but we need some actual proof. Well, I, I have here a copy of the contract that I sent him. It should be exactly the same as what I gave well, him. Well, yes, but as he has... Yeah, that's exactly the same. But as he has no mm -hmm. recollection of having interacted with this contract beyond when it arrived to him in the mail, mm -hmm. that's insufficient proof for me. <laughs> Is there anything else? Oh, I, I recorded the whole thing, actually. Oh. I had the camera set up and everything. And oh. I actually, yeah, I have video of him, like, legitimately agreeing uh -huh. to the whole thing. Would it be possible for you to send a copy of that to my office at my base? Oh, absolutely. I can uh, I can drop it off in the mail, or I can drop it off at your uh, at your office, whichever you'd prefer. Uh, if you just put it in the mail, that would be fine. Okay, I can, I can pick do that. It up and review that as needed. Thank you. That's brilliant. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Well, I will uh, I will be in contact soon then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I need to call you about any of this, can I do that? Oh, absolutely. You know where to oh, find brilliant. me. Yeah, I do. Thank in, you. In the attic at Skinner's base. <laughs> okay. Well, Piggy and well, I will review with the me. footage and we'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, hello, Stina. Oh, <laughs> wow, she rubber banded. Okay, back to base, guys. Okay, we're back. Are you ready to see what I did? Not all the upstairs are done. But let's have a look at what we did and we'll label as we go. Right, so we'll start with this. I've finally finished the downstairs of this building. Boy, you close early. I don't know why this room closes, why this shop closes so early. This is the jeweler's shop. Where are we going to put the label for the jeweler's shop? Over there? Yeah. Okay, so this is the jeweler's. And this was suggested by Victor Hibernet. We need something to make that show up a bit better. Let's try some gold engraving. Yeah, so we'll come in and have a look. We've got display cases, we've got a chain there for sale, and more costly items under glass. The staff can get them out on request. Got a bit of gold on display. I'm just gonna hop the counter. It's our cash register, and if we come in here, little staff area but we also have 
a vault. If I can get in, there we go, a vault. And that's where I'm keeping ores and gold and ores with gold. And it's all in there. Okay. So, Victor, that's the jewelers. Thanks for a great suggestion. And I've got all my important stuff stored in there. Emeralds, diamonds and the gold blocks. Uh, what's next? Next is let's sleep and we'll come back in the morning when the shops are open. Oh, it's not quite open. Okay, we'll do this one next. D gently detective. There we are. Let me know if you know that reference. Just come up here. This isn't done. It's going to be a studio apartment. Uh, I'm just a bit interior to out right now. I'll get it done. But we come in here. Now while it says downstairs D gently, the layout is of this place is actually taken from the Robert Galbraith books. So this is sort of the strike detective agency. So we've got a little kitchen out the back. We've got the receptionist desk with the filing cabinet and all the mad ones are in the bay bottom drawer. Little place for clients to wait. And in here is the detective's office. Got his own filing cabinet. This is where clients can talk to him. And out here is just a little living space for if he's having to pull an all-nighter. The studio apartment will have to have the toilet across the hall. <laughs> all right, down we come. So, shops now. Oh, they're still not open. Boy, that one opens late. All right, let's get it labelled while we're waiting. This is Redstone Electronics. And the proprietor is Andre Heinz. Great idea, Andre. Thank you. Let's see what we did. So you come in here, you've got the counter, and we've got displays of redstone things, and that's also where they're kept. Yes, I need to stock. So we've got droppers, dispensers, and observers, and then we've just got general redstone and redstone dust. And we've got a display wall of buttons, and they're all kept in here. And a little staff area, oh, which I haven't done anything with. Ah, let's see what we can do. We've got a little table and uh, we'll go with that. And we'll hang a, can we hang a lantern? No, but we can put one on the table. There we go. Okay, little staff area. So there you are, Andre, there's your electronic shop. Now, Pump575 already has his name on the bakery. So I think the bookshop, and I'm going to call it Rice's after my favourite bookshop in Newcastle. And the proprietor is Jay Hernandez. And there we are. Now we can read it. All right, so that's done. Let's have a look inside. Oh, and I should have said Rice's is a second-hand bookshop. Here's what I came up with. We've got a little window display. Okay, so we'll have a look from the front. So we've got a book on display in the window. A couple of books on empty shelves. An old map, or maybe that's an album cover. I think it's a map. More books on display. More books just stacked everywhere. And we've got books and bookshelves in barrels. I didn't quite use everything I had used a lot though and if we come up here we've got the upstairs part and my son had this idea put in ladders so that you can get to the top shelf and we've got plenty of lighting the only people in here buying books are those who are going to want to be here there we are and another ladder down here so that's the bookshop there's nothing up there yet. It's going to be a bed sit. But this one. This is general building supplies. So we've got some quartz blocks on display. We've got glass in stock. And we've got all sorts of lighting. All your lighting needs. Now Susie Naveau and Jeff Bledslow both suggested this. Uh, they both suggested it as a general store, but we've got the mercantile that Anjanette came up with. So I think 
general building supplies would be more appropriate. If you guys have a problem with that, just let me know. But uh, what should we call it? Susie and Jeff's Building Emporium. Or I could call it Nouveau and Bledsoe. You guys let me know what you want to do. But there we are. Oh, and one more room. One more room to show you. Let's come round to the back alley. <laughs> oh, this smells so much better. Oh, look. JC cleaned it up. Lovely. Thank you, JC. I'll have to go see if she's got an invoice for me. We might do that next time. We've got something in here. If we come upstairs, we've got a little meeting room and a space for hire for Tai Chi, yoga, self-help groups, whatever. So space to put all your things and a little receptionist desk which is missing something. Hang on. That is the wrong colour. I'll have to come back and put the right colour in. Or, no, I'll swap these out for spruce. Yep, okay, I've got to do that. So what are we going to put here? Um, yoga, Tai Chi, room for hire, contact cafe for details. I think the elves can handle that. What do you think, Snickerdoodle and Cookie? Can you manage that? All right, they're busy. I suppose they can. All right, so I didn't quite get as much done as I wanted. I wanted those last two rooms finished. The studio apartment and the bed sit above the Builder's Emporium. But the rest of it's done. Oh, I'm really happy with that. I'm going to go have a break before I finish those rooms. While I'm having my break and having a think... You know what to do. There's end cards on the screen now so that you can go and enjoy some more of my things while I'm doing the boring stuff. I'll see you later. Bye!